Hey everyone, welcome back to Mrs. T-Rex, my name's Gemma and we are back in Edinburgh Zoo. So this time we are building the habitat for the Malayan tapir. Currently there is one adult Malayan tapir in Edinburgh Zoo and his name is Mugley and he was born in 2009 and he came from a zoo in Germany in May 2012. Mugley is part of the European Endangered Species Programme and you will find him next door to our rhino habitat. Okay, so here is stage one of the build. Um, I've popped in the barrier, as you can see there. We've got some water up at the top here, and I've just outlined kind of where everything is going to be. I've put in the uh, terrain uh, painting as well, and there's one thing that I'd like to point out, which is this. A uh, bit of a, an, an eyesore here. So the terrain and the path, as you guys will know, they're not, they're not very good friends. But I'm going to show you how you can take something like this and uh, cover it up. So yeah, this is this is stage one. So the next step here, we have our tapir in. He's uh, chilling out in the background there. And that little eyesore that I pointed out uh, just a few minutes ago is now actually covered up by this building. So you will see here, this is where the, the tapir's um, indoor enclosure is. So I'll just take you down here. So this is like a, a little bedding area that the guests can come and check out the taper while they're sleeping. Um, and it's also kind of been split up so you can, can see this part of the habitat. And um, I've also included, there's a little bit of detail here with the, the custom shutter door there that will slide over. And I've put in a couple of rocks there, again, just to hide that massive gap that you guys saw before. So not much of an update on this one, but it's it's slowly coming together. Okay, so this part is really to do about adding in all the details. So you can see here that we've got our tapir swimming in the pool. I've lined this with the plaster pieces, as you can see there. All our guests are, are having a really good spot at our tapir. I've um, included some of the foliage as well, so you can see that we've got quite lush uh, area here, a little bit of rock work as well. And then as you come down the habitat, you will see I've put in this fence, which is actually what is in Edinburgh Zoo. So it does look really rickety. You can see there that it doesn't necessarily line up properly. Um, I must, I don't know, maybe like the weather's got to it or whatever, but it, it does look a bit like it needs to be replaced almost but it is what it is and that's exactly how it kind of looks in Edinburgh Zoo. So coming back a little bit I will show you the rest of the habitat so we've got the foliage coming in just a little bit of sprouts of grass here and there a little bit of uh, long grass in at the bottom as well and then we've got the two enrichment items so you can see we've got the tire and we've also got the uh, food barrel. One thing I didn't point out at the, the last update was the detail um, around here. So there is a tapir sign up at the top and then this custom door that goes in. We also have a little bit of ventilation, just these kind of little areas that really kind of make sure your uh, zoos kind of stand out, just putting in uh, that kind of little detail. And I also forgot to show you guys what is inside here. So again, I've just popped in the bedding um, that big gap that you've seen before, it's kind of just hidden by all of this hay, which um, if you can hide it, you know, don't don't worry about, don't worry about um, the terrain kind of not doing exactly what you think it should do. So yeah, this is just, um, again, another little update and um, I think our tapir is having a, a fine old bath up at the top there. Okay, so I've just popped in some trees just to finish off the habitat there. So there's quite a, a mix of different sizes of trees. This is quite true to how it looks like in Edinburgh Zoo. So you do have this kind of, it's almost like a pond at the back here. It's not necessarily this big. So this part of it, I've definitely made up a little bit. And um, the rest of it is is quite, quite similar to, to how it looks. When you're up here, this is a very kind of lush looking habitat. You can't really see like much what's going on. So I'm going to take you down into first person view. So if you're coming from Penguins Rock and the play park, there's this little side street here, this pathway, which will take you up to the tapirs. 
So the whole idea of this part, which is, is quite overgrown, it's kind of let nature take control almost. Some of the bushes are certainly cut back when it comes into the season, but I just wanted it to make it look really lush, kind of overgrown, a bit natural kind of look about it. I've also included these pavement little slabs as well, just, just to give it a, a really nice clean look. But I'm quite enjoying how this is all coming together. So here we go, this is the tapir habitat and I have spotted our little friend way up at the top there. He must be going going off for a little swim. Um, so like I said before, the habitat is pretty pretty basic to be honest. Uh, we've got the, the wall at the back here, our kind of janky looking rickety fence. Again, this is thrown absolute no shade on Edinburgh Zoo. It just so happens to be that actual zoos in real life do look, dare I say it, a little bit worn. But in my opinion, as long as the animals are well looked after, then, you know, it doesn't have to be all bells and whistles. Um, so yeah, we've got our uh, little hard shelter at the back here for the tapir to come and have a little snooze in. We'll just come out of here. Uh, this takes you again to the rhino habitat. I've got one in the background there. He's going off. He's going off maybe to get some food. If you guys have not seen the rhino habitat, I will put a link in the description below. So make sure that you check that one out. Um, and then if we come up here past our guests, we've got two access points. So you've got the, the stairs and then you've got a ramp for uh, push chairs and disabled guests. We've got this implied door um, that has absolutely no function whatsoever, but you know, it's actually what, what is in Edinburgh Zoo along with our, our tapir sign. Uh, so this is where you can come and check the tapir if they're inside. Uh, their hard shelter having a, having a little snooze so that is uh, that's that and then again right here is where the pool is you can see our guests are, are quite enjoying looking at our taper friend so I've got some stop-motion clips just to finish off this video but I hope you have enjoyed it